Hey guys, it's Marcus, I'm with Marcus, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the Mandarin tones. So there are four basic Mandarin tones, and it's a little bit difficult for English speakers to learn these tones because we don't use tones in our day-to-day -day speech. But in this video, I'm going to be breaking each tone down, and it should be pretty easy to remember them and remember how they're pronounced. So it's, here are the tones. It's ma, 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 and ma. So let's break these down. The first one is ma. It's at the lowest range of your voice, and it is marked by this V-like tone marker. So it's ma. Go at the lowest range of your voice. So repeat after me, ma. The second one goes from the highest point of your voice range down to the lowest. It's ma. That was ma. Now you try. Go ma. So that was ma and ma. This next one is the exact opposite. It goes up. It's ma. That was ma. So you start at the lowest and you continually get higher. So it's ma. Now the last one is at the very top of your voice range. So it'll be ma. That was ma. So it's ma, 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 and then ma. So just like that, you learn the four tones. So let's go over the tone markers for each. For the ma, it, it looks like a V, like I already said. For the ma, it's uh, slanted to the left, and you can think of it as a downward plank, and that's how your voice should go, from the top of your voice range down to the bottom. The third one is ma, which is going upwards in the right direction. So it's slanted, so it's slanted upwards. So you can think of it as how your voice would go again. So it'd be ma. And then finally, the fourth one is just one line over the letter. So it would be ma. So let's go over some sentences that use these tones. You say gong an ju zai nar, which means where is the police station? That's Gong ang ju zai nar. Another one is wu du zi teng, which means my stomach hurts. So that's gong ang ju zai nar and wu du zi teng. I hope it's pretty clear with the tone markers now, and if you are a fluent Mandarin speaker and you notice some faultiness with my tones, please let me know so that I can correct correct myself and so I'm not misleading you guys. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, I'm Marcus from Learning with Marcus. See you guys in the next video.